That man said, I don't cheat. Oh my! What's going on, y'all, man? It's King Dooms, and your boy is back. Your boy is back from Community Day from New York. Uh, it was my first time ever going out there. And a little secret that I've been keeping, and I feel this is the perfect time to announce it, because back then it was way too early. I was also at the playtest in Cali. Even though I'm showing y'all mama moments right now, I kind of like, I kind of like went in reverse because I had a gameplay earlier of the Grizz versus the Heat where I was talking about the gameplay more in general. But right here, I can tell y'all about the scheduling. So for me, um, I got videos. I got videos already scheduled uh, for the Builder and all that and for the Rec gameplay uh, on September 1st. That is when that embargo lifts. So for now, uh, these gameplay videos that y'all get for today and I believe I got another one for tomorrow um, those is just straight up like 2k24 discussions on gameplay and all that how I feel about the gameplay uh, likes dislikes from 23 going into 24 comparing it to other 2k's 224 setting itself apart so that is my complete schedule I have now if you if you follow me you know I'm a 99 three ball fiend you know I'm a 99 three ball fiend. It's tough. Just know, just know that it's tough. That's all I can say. It's strict. It's very strict. You'll see in the videos, uh, commentaries already done and all that. Got them scheduled. So just, just know that it's tough. But that would be September first for the builder when the embargo's lifted. So you gotta wait for that a little bit more. Uh, the play shots I made a hash lot, pure lot, seven three pure red. Uh, made a, a power four with a, a, a red blue power four six nine. Uh, some pretty some pretty copy builds. I say I say copy and stage, of course. I say at least for that will definitely be good in the wreck, of course, because you never know what type of competition you run into. But at the same time, you'll be you'll be ready. And when I say competition, you just never know. Like the other team have no idea what they're doing, stuff like that. It, it'll be plenty of games like that for everybody. In general, uh, 2K24, man. So, it's going to be a solid game. As you see, I got the heat and grids right here. I'm trying to see what J6 is hitting for. Uh, pretty nice. I got, like, a nice little... He got some He got some nice, like, escapes and all that. The toughest thing to figure out, though, is speed booster, though. So, now this year, and I'll just dive right into it. This is the overall... Um, impressions on the gameplay that that I was that I got my hands on so his six like it creates a lot in in ISO play and when you're just standing still without even doing speed boost if that makes sense that's the feel that I got for Jai six and when I first did that with Jai it's going to have them guessing instead of having locks trying to beat you to the spot if you're using Jai six and if you can master them of course this game right here, of course, even though it's paused, is the first time using it. So, of course, it's, it's way different. Um, the speed boost, you have to double tap R2, RT now um, to get those explosive takeoffs. And it was it was tough, like, putting that in because as, for a player like me, I just came over to, like, the dribble, the dribble head side. I would say 2K 22, 21. And... It was still some things that I was learning because I was always a sharp. Speaking of uh, pro on the 5v5 wreck and all that part. But that was the biggest adaptation was double tapping the turbo button to get the speed boost. It's effective. It works. Especially when you're slashing. I feel a huge skill gap that they put in 24 this year will be. three. It will be 300. It will be. You can get that crab if you can get your phase off. You still can get phase off. Um, and if you're just if you if you just look way too comfortable, 
controlling up top and all that, controlling the whole perimeter when dribbling, you're going to be a dog. What, I, what I've been saying um, the most is if you are if you get good at this game, you're going to stand out. The reason that I say that is because it's a lot to figure out. And I, w- I would generally say 90% of the community doesn't care to figure out NBA 2K. That's that's just that's just a portion of it. That's just an example. It's a true example because it's on Twitter, it's on Facebook too, all that. It's people complaining everywhere about it. But if you sit down and laugh this game, you're going you're going to enjoy it for one. You're going to realize how much creativity you have. And what it is that you like to do and what it is that you want to do in the game. Based off your it hit me when I was running, when I was playing with Curry. When I was playing with Curry and Lillard, because of course those are like those are like the two two players that I mimic my play style with. And when I went in to use them, I was like, oh my god. Like I just feel like I, I just I just I feel like a, I just feel like a dog. I just feel like I'm, I'm gonna dominate so much because of what they put into the game. And of course, there's six. Some six I won't use. Curry will have a lot of six that folks will use because he was shifty. When I say shifty, I mean my one of my favorite things is like doing one move, getting to my spot, and just shoot. Curry has a crazy package of doing that. So if you if you if you put in the work to lavish this today, that's the whole. That's like the whole. That's what I keep reiterating now. You're going to enjoy this 2K. You're going to be a dog at this 2K. You put, you're going to put your clips on Twitter, get your impressions, all that, man. Because it's not going to be a lot. It's not going to be people that put in the time in the lab. So if you put that time in the lab early, you're going to eat. <clears throat> all right. So the overall consensus of NBA 2K24, well, let's talk about what we see on screen right here. So the first thing that I wanted to go into, of course, um, the biggest thing for me, it was the shot time visual cue. This is what I was trying to figure out for the longest like it was i was confused i was like nah they just changed the names of very early let's go back of very early um early late very late i switched it to jump my first time playing in the community today i literally switched it to jump thinking that that is late it's literally what it says so there's no such thing as a very early I I'd be wrong. Like what I was saying to myself of it being very early, early, late, very late, it's complete it's completely gone. Like there is no very early, early, late, very late. It's literally what it says, the cue that you have to look at to green your shots. So you have push literally right before he flicks it. That's the first that's the first motion in your jump shot in real life. As far as with the wrist, so using push or release, you're not looking at your legs. You're not looking at none of that. You're literally looking at nothing but your hands. Release might be for me because of how I play 23. I don't want to compare 24 and 23 though, but that's literally what I did using late on 23 was looking at the was looking at my wrist. Like literally, I just right when I feel like he's about to release it, I'll release it I'll green sometimes. Jump is jump feels faster depending on the base for me i was using curry and lillard they get off the ground quick with their shots those felt faster than release and push but here's the catcher the new set shots when you catch it funny like on the side you most of the time you still go into their regular form so the shot is still being slowed down on the timing but it is still their regular form and that cue still matters. You just have to hold it down longer if you if you shoot your shot sooner before you set your feet. And it's the same animation. So if y'all remember, it's no more like when you're like to the side and you like he shoots, he literally look like he shoots like 2K12 um different jump shots. The set I call it a set shot, or some people call it a load up. That is that is their regular form now. It just looks it look it's gonna look crazy when you see it. You're gonna be like, what? Like, nah, that's that's the regular form, so you still gotta pay attention to the cue. 
which is something that was fire in my opinion because some like NBA players do that. Like that was something that they replicated from IRL, which is pretty dope in my opinion. And the last one is set. So set, I never use set. Uh, <laughs> me being a shooter, I stay away from anything called set because like set takes the longest to get off the ground. It takes the longest for all of that. So I wasn't, I, I'm not even going to experiment with set. For me, it's going to be between jump and release. But when I switched to jump, I started grinning like crazy. That's all I'm going to say. I used Ja Morant this game because I didn't really... I wanted to see how it felt like with blow bys and driving the lane. And I'm not going to lie. If you if you have your driving dunk up, if you have your contact, your, like you got the contact dunks, all that. If you can get people on your hip and you meter dunk it, bro, you're going like you're going to be generally surprised at how big the green window is. That it's not an online thing, it's not a lag thing, it's none of that. It's none of that. And then on the screen right here, you see all the different options that you have. Uh, you can change the shot meter size. Like it's 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 a lot you can do. This is generally good for those that like to use it, of course. I'm turning it off, but say I make a build with contact dunks, this this means a lot. For me personally, I would make the shot meter size big as possible. And just and just look at the green window when doing uh, meter dunks. That's my advice to you, for you slashers. And but that's what I was saying. So when Ja Morant gets people on the hit, and it's not even just Ja. Like I can, I didn't use Giannis or like the big guards getting to that hit and then going for a meter dunk triggers so much. In this video, I mean, I, I need to fast forward because it's just I mean, I'm just on this. I think I got to a point <coughs> getting to the hip though. It's crazy because I was trying to uh, slide on this, but Jai has a lot of crazy setups on this. That one, I try to do a meter bump. A meter done from way too far, but nah, I just, I didn't have the angle. I believe I do get a meter done. I believe what I was talking about started gathering. So let's go back on that, man. That's what I mean right there. Just getting somebody on your hip and triggering meter dunks, I feel it's going to be fucking insane. And it'll just be a huge, it'll be a huge skill gap. Cause not, not a lot of people want to use meter. They don't. They just not a, a lot. Of, a lot of people feel like it's too difficult. It's too, it's too hard. To the side at the free throw line, I'm already triggering the meter dunk. Up down is still the same command. Look how big the green window is on the contact dunk. This is why I was saying, increase the size of your shot meter and use the meter dunk. You're going to enjoy that a lot at this point. I wasn't thinking of that. It was just me getting the feel for the gameplay. Seeing how the dunking is. Seeing how girl speed boosts the worst because that is something when I was trying to do on the builds. And the green one, that's just big as shit. It's just, it's huge. And I did all that dribbling and click how many adrenaline bars I got. And then I think I only lost that adrenaline bar once I went for the meter dunk because Laurie did he, did he get a bump? Let's see. Really, literally can just go back and just see if he got it or not. Ugh, cross back to the left. <clears throat> so it was when I turned the corner at the free throw line when I lost the adrenaline bar. So when contact was made from Laurie, that's when I lost the bar. But still enough stamina. It's John Morant contact up every time. This one might be tricky. Uh, This one might be tricky. But... Having too many contact dunks is kind of risky. Having them, having too many on equipped because you want to get to like certain spots and of course you want to have muscle memory for what works. Now this next Euro contact dunk I'm about to do, literally, it, it scared the shit out of me. I didn't think he was dunking that. That that shit was crazy. But I did go for me to dunk. Did a Euro. That shit you have to time. What did kill me was how small the meter, the meter was, the green window, but look at my bars, look at my stamina. I feel it's more tied to how low your stamina is and then also the situation because Larry got Euro, it's still a lot, it's still, doing a Euro with somebody, doing a Euro getting somebody off you is a lot of contact. 
So the bar situation, the stamina and the adrenaline bars, it, it makes way too much sense. But I wasn't ready for that, so I missed it. I was like, oh my god. And then so many of those triggered. Like I like when they put when they have D Wade in my team and people are trying actually trying to beat it done, they're gonna go crazy. They're gonna go crazy with D Wade on. It told me the potential that 2K24 can reach with the gameplay because of how quick I picked up on it, how quick I adapted to the shooting, how quick uh, I noticed the changes in dribbling um, that you have to have defense and just all aspects pretty much. So this is something that a lot of folks are going to enjoy. I think I quit right here after this because I got so mad I couldn't put Jai back in. Yeah, that was the whole reason. So in the next video, uh, I know that came to a close pretty short. It was just something I couldn't show at the time. Uh, the next one will be a Mama Moments video if you're still here in the video. And it's pretty much going to be, in my opinion, a favorite because it's Kobe. He's souped up. He can do everything. He got contact done. So he got really good six animations. Can shoot. It just shows all around the full potential of... 2k24 and this is around the time i played mama moments later on uh during community day and it was the most fun that i had so that would be the next video can't do man subscribe if you new drop a like show love on the channel